Ganesha Chaturthi to you all. Since it's Ganesha Chaturthi, today I am going to talk about the facts behind Ganesha Chaturthi. So, let's get started. Ganesha Chaturthi is one of the most favorite festivals of Hinduism. Ganesha is the son of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Did you know that Ganesha Chaturthi is also known as Vinayak Chaturthi? Yes. This festival is celebrated to commemorate Ganesha Chaturthi as the birth anniversary of Lord Ganesha. Did you know that Ganesha has 108 different names? Some of them are Gajanana, Ganesha, Vinayak, Lampoda, etc. Lord Ganesha is the god of knowledge, wisdom, prosperity and joy. Did you know that Ganesha Chaturthi is mostly famous in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and apart from India, even Nepal, Thailand, UK and US celebrate Ganesha Chaturthi. Did you know that? In this way, people bring clay idols of Ganesha and keep it in. Home. And after the festival, they immerse it in water, whether it's lake, pond, river, sea, ocean, etc. Did you know, as per Indian mythology, when Ganesha was traveling on his raft, the a snake came in front of them, and the raft was afraid and he tripped over. That made Ganesha trip over, and the moon was laughing. That's why Ganesha got angry that he cursed the moon that whoever sees the moon on this day will have a bad omen. Did you know that the tallest Ganesha statue is not in India at all? It's in Thailand which is 49 meters long. And Japanese call Ganesha as Kangitin or Vinayating. It is worshipped since thousand years. In 1893, Kamanya Tilak wanted the crowd to come together and create social gathering. This may help the country India to create patriotism, but Britishers weren't letting that to happen. This man, Lokamanya Tilak, was the first ever man to celebrate Ganesha Chaturthi. I hope you enjoyed my video about Ganesha Chaturthi today. To see more interesting videos like this, please subscribe, press the bell icon, like my video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.